A little hygiene in your Mendeley library is a good idea. I write across disciplines, so I tend to have piles and piles of articles that I'll work on with the project and then not need for a while. And so periodically I go through and uh, delete uh, PDFs from Mendeley, even though I have an archive of the articles on my computer and a flash drive because I'm that sort of geek. Anyway, um, what's interesting about Mendeley is it has these marvelous PDF and or doc reading capabilities, but it's not always foolproof. So when you are getting ready to work on a project or you're getting ready to do your final paper, you want to make sure that all the right metadata is coming in with the articles if you're going to use Mendeley um, uh, for your citation manager in your, uh, in your project. So um, I've got about only about 1,500 articles in um, this library right now. And I, some of these, some of the older ones we got when I worked, um, when I worked, when I was in school on a campus that didn't have a physical library. And so we would get these faxed articles that were saved as a PDF and emailed by the library, which was terrific, but it didn't actually bring in the metadata. So um, we had to enter things by hand. But sometimes um, just information does not get pulled up correctly, whether it's with a scan or something. And so I want to go through and show you just a couple things where uh, it's a really good idea to um, go through and just make sure that everything is filed correctly. So in looking down my list of titles here, I see a problem right here. I've got a title of a journal article with an eight in the title, which kind of doesn't make any sense. So if I click on the article itself and then I go over to the details, I can scroll up and look and I can view the Mendeley research category entry for this paper or I can just edit it locally for myself. So if I come up and I click, I want to make sure it's a journal article, I can click on the title itself and there shouldn't be a footnote in here. Um, so I can go ahead and delete that and then go scroll down to make sure I have a year of volume issue and page numbers. Generally, that's all I'm going to need. If you do want to include an abstract, you can either pop into the Mendeley Research Catalog um, and it's going to show up on my uh, other screen over here. Um, so hold on one second and I'll pull this over. Um, this is taking me into um, uh, Science Direct. No, actually, sorry, it is in Mendeley. There we go. Um, and I'm not going to go ahead and sign in here except to say that um, I can add this to my Mendeley library and sign myself in and then it, uh, it doesn't necessarily auto-correct, um, but it will give you what the entry is. So when other people have in, um, inserted things in Mendeley, then Mendeley kind of makes a common, um, common language. So it almost is like Mendeley is creating its own little public version of a library. Uh, just for the entries, by the way, it doesn't really have the PDFs. So that's where I could double check that. I also could just open up the PDF itself so I could scroll on down, open up the PDF and extract the abstract and plug that in here. And sometimes that's useful if you're in the pre-reading phase and you want to just search through your documents to, or your files rather to try and find articles that you might want to cite. So um, scrolling on down, I see another, uh, this is a really old article um, that um, uh, did not import correctly and none of the metadata are here. So that's something I'm going to have to enter by hand. And then if I scroll down, there's another one that I that came out really interesting um, in a language that I don't really speak. Um, and so uh, in looking at this, I'm not sure if the article was really in um, a, a language that uses these types of characters, an Asian language. But if I scroll down and I look here on the right, the files, this is a completely different article. This article does not match the abstract. So this is something that either got dropped and dragged in the, in the wrong spot or it just did not import correctly. So it's really not a, sa a fail safe at all. So just making sure I don't want to use the uh, neonatal oil massage article, but if I come over and filter by authors and I don't see Darmstadt over here, then that's kind of a problem. So let's just take a quick look. Um, so Darmstadt seems to be here. Um, so let's see. And accepted the later massage skin barrier, uh, young neonate. So that might actually be the right article under Ahmed. Um, so again, just making sure as you're importing. So now one last little odd thing that happened. Um, I'm just sharing this with you because I screwed something up and don't do what I did. Um, if you look at filter by authors over here, it's American accent, Australian accent, Australian American accent, British accent. There's a problem over here I can't quite figure out. So if I click on American accent, and the author being American accent and click on the article itself. 
I could view the research catalog, uh, catalog entry for the paper, but if I scroll down here, I'm looking at, at uh, Becker, and it's Becker and Masaki, the bottom line. So clearly, this is another um, a, another problem. I can search the Mendeley catalog to try and fix it, and that might help. Um, if I look at this, it's not showing up as a PDF, but this is a acute oper interoperative pain management, blah de blah. If I look at this article, I think this is the one. Hopefully my computer's not going to stall here. Um, yes, so here I have an article, Ziegler, but something came up with American Accent, which is a little bit weird. Now if I look at the URL, I have a bunch of different URLs. And now look at the files. There's a whole bunch of articles that got merged into one file here in this document. And I think I know how I messed it up. I think I... I did a uh, shift click for all these articles and tried to drag them into a folder and instead of dragging them I wasn't paying attention and I clicked on OK and I merged all the documents together. So I'm going to have to go through and delete all of these from this particular merge here and the articles should still be in existence elsewhere in my Mendeley library. So if you are going to add files to different folders um, probably not a good idea to shift, click, drop, and drag because that's just going to merge them all into one document. So uh, hopefully these little things were helpful in terms of, uh, you know, kind of, I guess it's like folding your laundry or sorting your socks, um, but making sure that your library is going to be functional for when you need to use it. So happy researching.